guys, Cindy out here with March Endeavors. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Um, I'm going to do a little test here. Here's what I'm doing. I have some Murphy's Oil Soap. I have some Ultra Ajax. Um, this I just got probably at a regular grocery store. Um, this I got at the Dollar Tree. And the reason I picked this one is because it says Super Degreaser on it. What I plan on doing today is, this is just a bottle of water. Um, I like this Deco Art Brush and Stencil Cleaner. Um, I like I put it in my my actual paint water and then I feel like when I'm painting you know messing with my brushes my paint water jar is awful um, but when I'm messing with my brushes it actually cleans them while I'm doing it so that's why I really like to put this stuff in my water but here's the deal um, move that back over there I don't have a lot of this left I have about a half a bottle if you can see it's got bubbles in it I don't know if you guys have ever used this. This is a Decor uh, brush and stencil cleaner. And, you know, I don't want to buy something that I can make at home. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment. I'm going to take some Ajax and some Murphy's Oil Soap and some water. I've got two bottles here. These are the same type of bottles my water is in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do more Ajax in one and more um, Murphy's Oil Soap. And then um, say it the other way around, more Murphys and less Ajax. And I want to see which formula or which you know mixture is going to work better for me. So let's start out with the Ajax. Again, I got this at the grocery stores so, or at the Dollar Tree, so you know I know it's not a great. I was hoping these would work as funnels, and they're very very slow. All right, so we got one cap full there. We'll let that go down. We got one cap full here. We'll let that go down. I didn't realize these were going to be that slow, or I would have just put regular funnels in here. But they, it is coming out. It's just coming out really slow. Let's add. So we've got one and one. Ugh, let's add a little bit of water. Uh, it's down about to the end, so I'm going to add a cap full of water. Now I'm just doing this just to start the ratios and what I'm going to do is I'll eventually end up with full bottles but I want to see if at all it's going to work. So let's leave that there. Now let's do, this is half and half. I'll show you what I'm trying to get to. It's hard to explain what I'm trying to get to. Alright, I'm going to put a full cap. So this is going to be even amounts. And I'm going to make a mess too so don't worry about that. All right, so this has got one cap full of water, one cap full of Murphy's, and one cap full of Ajax. And what I'm going to do, as soon as it's done playing around, which it is, I'm just going to kind of clean out this cap because it's got the thingies in it. And what I want to do, this is just one part of each. And I'm going to have to find funnels in a different way to do this because I'll be here all day if I do it with that. What I want to see is I have a great mixture here. So let's take, um, let me go grab a quick little jar. I'll be right back. All right, I know it's kind of hard to see because you're looking down, but I'm trying to show you the best I can. All right, this is just a blackberry jam jar. And what I did is I filled it about halfway with just plain water. And this is what I do, um, same thing with this container, is I fill them about halfway. Because when I'm working, I want to take a brush, I'm just going to take one of these dirty ones, and I want to put it in there and I want to go like this. So I don't want water all over the place. All right. So what I'm going to do is take my half and half mixture here. I'm going to put a little bit in. We don't need a lot, right? And what I want to see is... Okay, it suds a little bit, which is awesome. But the big test is going to be to see how clean that brush is. So I'm going to grab just a piece of paper here. This is just a piece of computer paper. I fold it in half. And this is what I would do to my brushes. Ooh, that's got white on the, that's got glue on the bottom of it. All right, so we'll get off the glue. And then what I want to see Okay, this was a paint. I use this for paint. There's nothing on it. Well, let's try another one. This one I also used for paint. 
And you know what? I think this is going to work. I may just stick with half and half. Nothing. There's nothing in this brush. All right, so they're both clean. But what I want to do is I want to do this a little bit more, experiment a little bit more with it. Right now it's half and half, and I think that's going to be okay. But I really don't. I think I'd rather put just more water in it. So let's see. We've got half and half right here. I'm going to leave that alone. We've got one cap of Ajax in here. We're just going to have to do it by squirts now because if not, it'll take me forever, right? So we're going to do squirt, done. And then we're going to do some, and done. So this one has more... Oops, we added water. And we're going to fill it up with water. Okay. I'm going to use this as brush, ooh, as brush cleaner for a while. And what I'll do um, is I'll let you know how well it works. Let me just clean this up. This is a mess. All right, so here's what it looks like. Looks kind of like, I want to say lemonade. <laughs> it does bubble, okay, so I don't have to worry about that. And you saw what I put in, just as, and I may not even need as much. I just put in a squirt of Ajax with a cup and um, just a little bit of Murphy's oil soap. So we're going to try it and see how well it works for us. Um, I think the whole point of my video is to let you guys know, you don't have to go out and buy expensive products. You don't have to go out and buy a cleaner. We have cleaners at home. We clean our houses, right? So why wouldn't they clean the paint brushes? Um, I don't recommend throwing them in a bleach or anything like that unless, you know, that's, I guess, what you want to do. I like to keep my bristles as soft as possible. Um, even this one, it's... It's used a lot, and it's really hard right through here because back then I didn't really wash them that well. Um, but this one feels great. I mean, for what bristles I have there, it feels wonderful, and it's nice and clean. So check it out. Try, you know, maybe try your own mixture. Maybe you have some other type of a cleaner. Um, I don't know, Mr. Clean, or I don't know, whatever. But try out a couple cleaners that you have, and... Add some water to them and see if you can make your own brush and stencil cleaner. And I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot cheaper. So, I mean, would this call me, cost me not even a penny because, you know, look how much I've used today. Not much of anything. Right about here. Right about here is where it was. So, yeah, let's try it. All right. I hope I didn't completely confuse you guys. Oops. Let's put the top back on. Um, I hope I didn't completely confuse you guys today as to what I was doing, but I was working it in my mind as I was doing it. So, again, a little bit of Ajax, a little bit of Murphy's Oil Soap, um, some water, and we got ourselves some brush cleaner. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll see you next time. Bye.